Developments this morning out of Montgomery County, a house fire in Elkins Park claims the life of two people. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O is live on the scene this morning with the latest developments. Anita. Very sad details this morning, Jan. We are learning that the victims in this blaze are an elderly couple, and you can see the damage of this fire behind me. The charred remains of this twin home here, and we have just learned from the victim's family that uh, the victims are Roy and Helen Feinstone. They were both 98 years old and have been living here in Elkins Park for a very long time. This home is here on the 600 block of Spring Avenue, again, here in Elkins Park. And we're learning all of this information from family members who say that they were just a wonderful couple ready to celebrate another wedding anniversary in August after more than 70 years of marriage. Now, this fire broke out just after 4.30 this morning at this twin home, again, on the 600 block of Spring Avenue in Elkins Park. A neighbor called authorities after smelling smoke, and when fire officials arrived, they found the couple in the first floor bedroom. They say that is where most of the damage in this home is contained. And the victim's daughter tells me that her father did use an oxygen tank that could have made some of these flames worse. And after about two hours, crews were able to get this blaze under control, but they say that this was a tough fight because this is what is called a balloon structure. And we also know that the neighboring twin home here has some smoke damage, and the family may not be able to get in there for a while and uh, we know that about four 150 firefighters were here fighting this blaze and again we've just learned from the victims family members that this couple has been identified as Roy and Helen Feinstone both 98 years old and longtime residents here in Elkins Park they've been married for more than 70 years again had an anniversary coming up in August and fire crews do expect to remain here for much of the afternoon. They say it is still too early to deter determine a cause, but of course we will be here and bring you all of the developments just as soon as we get them. Live in Elkins Park this morning, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.